What's going on, folks? So here I am, day two at Southeast Game Exchange, and I have a crisp $100 right here, five $20 bills. I'm gonna go out here. I need to pick up 11 games that are still under 20 bucks for my NES set for Expedition NES. Let's go. So before I headed down to Southeast Game Exchange, I, uh, I took note of the uh, games that I needed that were still for under $20 for my Nintendo NES set. I had 11 games on the list that were still in that price range, and I thought, how many of these could I get for $100? So I decided to do a little hunting down there to see what we could come up with. Before we uh, jump into the, the finds and the footage here that we have for it, there we have a uh, a little something good from down south that I picked up while I was down there. It's a big bottle. We got uh, something from Tennessee Cider Company. This one is a uh, delicious, delicious hard cider. This is a spiced apple hard cider. Comes in at 6.9% ABV, crystal clear. Smells absolutely divine. Mm. And that is nice and spicy and sweet too. Just like a, almost like a little bit of a cinnamon action going on there. Very, very good. Uh, Tennessee Cider Company. They are out of uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. At least that's where I've uh, tasted and bought stuff from them before, but very, very tasty. They make some great uh, cider. So the first game I found when I was running around looking was uh, Nobunaga's Ambition. This game you play as a warlord. It's a strategy-based game, and your, the objective is to uh, unify Japan underneath of your banner. So um, not a game that uh, is my cup of tea, really, as a strategy RPG. But as you can see uh, in the video, the price point was $10 on the thing. Uh, the story with that goes, though, I actually got it for $7 um, unintentionally because when I went to pay the guy, I only had 20s and I had a 5 and 2 1s on me. He did not have change, so he said, hey, look, dude, I'll just take the $7 for it. So very cool of him. I actually did go back and end up picking up another game from him later on anyway, so I think it, it worked out either which way, but $7 for Nobunaga's Ambition. The next game I picked up off the list was one that I've been searching for forever, and that is Barbie for the original Nintendo. I picked this one up um, off of Retro Wolf 88's booth, $10 for it. Um, for some reason, I didn't get any footage of it. I think it was because I was in the middle of, of just bullcrapping with him and just and some other folks that were around at the time. Barbie is a side-scrolling platformer where you are traveling through the levels, trying to pick out and find some accessories you need before you go to the ball with Ken. Sounds like a classic, right? <laughs> So a couple booths down from there, we found a funhouse for the Nintendo. This one right here is based off of the TV show that was on in the late 80s, early 90s. Not in my wheelhouse. I honestly don't remember this uh, this show. I remember Double Dare, and I think this was a similar show to Double Dare. Basically, kids compete in a bunch of competitions. In the game here, you have to uh, com complete some different tasks within a time uh, frame in order to get the points to move on to the next round or something of that nature. Uh, played a little bit of it. Not really that much fun to me, but I paid a full 20 bucks for this one. So this was the most expensive of those games that I needed for the set. Hunting around a little bit, I was able to wrangle up a copy of Wolverine for $15, which was a pretty good grab, I thought. Uh, this game, it runs runs in that $15 to $20 range, but this one is super, super clean. Uh, Side-scroller, plays Wolverine, not the most fun game. It could have been done a lot better than it was, but it's an LJN game, so what do we expect?
Uh, another one we picked up on the cheap, we got uh, Golf Grand Slam. Lots of golf games on the original Nintendo. This one, um, more of the same in my opinion. I don't know, I think my favorite is still just to, to play uh, the NES Open Tournament. But this one right here, we picked this one up because we bundled it together with something. So we were able to, able to get it a little bit cheaper. We were able to get this one for $12, Golf Grand Slam. We found a nice, decent copy of Mickey's Safari in Letterland. This one right here came in to us at 11 bucks, so not too bad. Uh, the guy had him at 14 bucks, but he had everything at 20% off, I think is what it was in the thing. So he gave me this one for $11. Not a bad deal, pretty good shape, one we needed. Getting down to the wire on this one. We've got 25 bucks left. We're gonna try to hopefully we can find two more games and kind of bundle them together, hopefully, and uh, get two more for the 25. And then I'll show you guys at the end of the video what we ended up coming up with with this hundred bucks. All right, so we finished the $100 challenge. I think we got nine out of 11 for 100 bucks. Way to go, right? That's what I'm talking about. My, my man helped me out here. He was spotting stuff right and left. So the final two games that we grabbed were Monster Truck Rally and Cyberball. These two, they had them in at 20 for this one and 15 for this one. I was down to only 25 bucks is all I had left to of the of the 100 in order to do this. So I asked them uh, with the condition of the carts if they would take 25 for both of them. It was the end of the convention. So they, they did, gave me a decent deal on it. As you can see, not the greatest cart, but they do work. Uh, this one looks like it's got a little heat bubbleage on the cart itself. And this one had some label issues, as you can see from the, the video when I was picking them up. But I was able to, able to fix that up with a little bit of a little bit of Elmer's glue, that's that's a good thing for labels in my opinion, but a little glue stick action. And it uh, stick it down pretty nicely in my opinion, but 25 bucks for that, not bad. So for the 100 bucks, we ended up getting eight games, not nine, like I said before. Uh, in the hunt, not, not a bad deal. Eight of them to knock off the list. That only leaves me with a couple of games still left to get for the under $20 price range for the collection, but very happy with that. I had a lot of fun running around. Uh, the second day when I did, Oh, the hunting here for this stuff. I was doing it with my son, so I had a lot of fun with him running around. And he was spotting stuff, and uh, these uh, these old eyes weren't spotting. So it was good to have a second set of eyes to do it. You guys, hope you all enjoyed the video, enjoyed the, the little bit of hunting. I wish I could have did a little bit better with the, uh, the footage and stuff that I had. Uh, I realized with the convention here that I definitely need to do something a little bit better when it comes to sound quality and uh, even with how I'm shooting these videos. But we put it together nonetheless, everyone. Till next time, hope you enjoyed yourself and I'll be talking to you later. Cheers. Take care of yourself.